course, we heard on multiple occasions throughout this process of interviewing different people is that regardless of what type of measurement they have in place in their company at the moment, um, what um, most of them did agree with is that brand building and its proper measurement should be an integral part of uh, marketing measurement and optimization, along with that all possible factors that play a role in this game, so to say. Promotions, a creative quality, all the different types of um, macroeconomical factors, everything that can play even a single role in the decision making process of the consumer should be part of our mathematical equation. Otherwise, mm. we're just really looking at the trees and focusing on those, but we don't see the whole forest. And it's um, it's quite a, um, a risky matter if we only partially look at half the picture, because imagine all the millions of euros that are spent uh, by advertisers, even sometimes on a on a quarterly basis, not even on a yearly basis. So that's why it's very, very important. And as I said, even though some of the people we've interviewed didn't have the chance yet or the maturity of the company was not there yet to implement the whole full complete measurement they all agreed that this is the way to go and that's where this journey is taking us right right and you brilliantly brought in the title of your article there seeing the forest through the trees thank you um you mentioned before ina that marketing mix modeling is popular again and we hear it from clients too they say that they're using a combo of marketing mix modeling so econometrics and they they're using that with their um, their own brand tracker findings, and and this helps them prove that their budget is indispensable. Now they say to us that um, if if they can demonstrate that they're they're shifting the key metrics that are linked to driving their sales, both in the short and the long term, this is how they can make their case convincingly. Is this, in your view, why marketing mix modeling has, as you said? a rekindled power in our industry. Yes, indeed. Nowadays, with all the, first of all, huge changes in media, in media consumption. I mean, even if you look simply at the fact that TV was the mass medium a couple of years ago, and now things are shifting. There is new media channels. Uh, people consume media, you and I, and each one out there is doing different things than five or ten years ago. So in all order to build that up properly, we need to look at both the short term and the long term impact of all our activations, because the decision making process in my mind as a consumer is not a scattered thing, right? It's something that is complete. And if we are not measuring at all, then we're not measuring properly. So that is why. Um, of course, before the interviews, we had our hypothesis, et cetera, and all the validated counter frameworks. But what we did find out is that companies that even work with, you know, uh, do market mix modeling type of work in-house or with their agency or with other providers, some with us, they all agree on one, the same thing, that this holistic measurement should be there um, for it to um, uh, really bring bring the business forward as a, as a whole. Of course, um, we also found out that there is there are multiple obstacles on the way. It's easier said than done. There are silo departments. There are political situations uh, in most of the of the companies. Um, just in general, from our network, we can definitely confirm that. But um, maybe one thing what would be interesting to highlight here, maybe Mauro, you can tune in here with me now, is to talk about not only holistic, that seems to be um, the status quo of how things should be done right now, but the more frequent cadence of doing MMM or any type of uh, marketing measurement optimization work. 